Today we're talking about the Zeepen Micro 2 slider and the Pons PT head kit. The actual slider comes in at $445. It's a really nice one. I've been using it for a long time now. And Zeepen recently sent out their Pons PT head kit, which you know includes one head, a second head, and a tilt kit. So you can either pan left to right, or you can tilt up or down, and you can do diagonal stuff, all that crap. And you can do it while sliding left to right, so that's fantastic. The actual kit will cost you $590, and if you just want to buy one head, it'll cost you $245. So, you know, you've got a lot of options there. You can start off with the slider, get a head, get a second one, and buy a tilt kit, or you can just buy the whole thing all together. It's similar to the Elder Crone system, but it's a little bit smoother and you don't have to fiddle around with it. With the Elder Crone system, I find I have to fiddle around, tension, you know, it gets a little bit annoying. This is basically plug and play and it works. The only thing that's missing, which I have been bugging Zeepin for a long time now, is the ability to control ramping. So ramping is basically a smooth in and a smooth out. So it doesn't go poof, but it kind of goes in smoothly faster and ends smoothly. So you can basically use the whole shot. The ramp is, you know, generic. It's something they put in there that you can't change. It's your everyday kind of normal ramp. And I would like the ability to control it. So either go from zero to a hundred or have a nice smooth in and a nice smooth out. It's something that Elder Crone lets you control and it's really missing on their application. The application is really simple, it's nice, it allows you to update everything, the heads, the slider, and um, yeah, it's pretty easy to use. It also has Intelligent Orbit, which is pretty funky, I'll show you that in a second, but first of all, before I start talking too much, let me show you a short sequence from the slider and the heads of my radio control car. I do like them and I thought it'd be a cool thing to, you know, show you an example of how smooth this is, moving left and right, up and down, panning and doing everything all together. So check this out. Oh, the fast life, the fast living. Fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. <laughs> Look, we are not the same, this is not a game. Not a game. I've been swerving through the city in and out of lanes. Yeah, lane. cause if I see it, then I want it, then you better know I got it. Yeah. And the watches yeah. I'm about to do the damn thing. I'm an outlaw, you can never catch me oh, yeah. Have it first place, you can never These are the moments, only got one life This is your moment, whether wrong or right You're your own enemy, your own enemy, your own enemy yeah. When I fall, I keep running Right, so that looked pretty damn good. I mean, it's very smooth. It has very nice movements, it doesn't feel jittery. And I do cut out the beginnings because they're just a little bit too, you know, ugh, too jaggedy, but you don't always use the beginnings. This is what we're talking about, by the way. So you've got the actual main slider unit here. I can take off one of the heads with a tilt kit and you can basically, like I said, just buy one of these. Now hidden inside, if you actually take it out, you have a three eighths and a quarter 20, which is just genius. You know, that's pretty cool. So you can use it like the um, Elder Crone system where you have a head, you have the slider, and you're sliding in with the head upside down as the head's rotating something. That's a pretty cool move to do. But I use this mainly for B-roll where I'm filming like cars or products and I need smooth, consistent shots, especially with macro shots. That's why the ramping control would really make a difference for me. Now, one thing that Elder Crone does not do, which is a pain in the ass, is a good orbit. Unless you have the target system, which you can only use with Head Plus. But check this out. So, I have my Zippo um, light fluid right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to position that red head right in the very, very middle. So waypoint one, then I'm gonna zoom along. This is full speed, by the way. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to position it 
also in the middle. There we go, perfect. And waypoint two. Now I'm going to go back to waypoint one and I'll try and actually record this on my phone just so you guys can have a look at what's going on. I've done two waypoints. Elder Chrome will normally, he will lose it. He will lose it completely. But this has got the intelligent orbit, which keeps that right in the middle of the frame, just, just using two waypoints. So let's put it on loop and check this out. I mean, he is holding that perfectly in place. Look, look at that. Wow. Impressive, very, very, very impressive. Okay, the other way. This might be boring for some of you, but I gotta tell you, this is exciting because it's something that a lot of sliders can't do. All the way to the end, just, just to prove a point. There you go. Now let's go in here and stop it. So that makes this slider something that, you know, it, it excites me. It doesn't mean I have to put on extra target systems and everything. It calculates the middle of that and it keeps it in shot the whole time. Orbits are something that look really good in product photography or, you know, whatever you're doing, really. So that whole system makes it, you know, great for me. The actual slider with the head is very stable using these two feet at the bottom here. And you can move them around the rubber and they look really good. You can do like 360 degree photography with this as well because it spins around in a circle. It's basically a really great slider and a really great system and I don't have any trouble with it at all. The only thing, please Zeepin, please, I'm begging you, put in ramping control for everything just so it's super, super smooth and I can use it in macro shots from beginning to end. I think I've gone through everything. Um, oh yeah, 50 kilogram horizontal payload. Boom! I could chop myself in half, put it on this and it would still handle my weight. Well, half of me. <laughs> Thanks Zeepin for sending this out. Really interested in the Micro free. It looks really cool because it kind of doubles in length. It's, you know, it, it's it's like the Elder Crown slider, but better. Catch you guys on the next one. Any questions, comments, all that jazz, put it down below. Make sure you subscribe and give me a like, you know, for old time's sake.